Now, I'd like you to talk about something together for about two minutes. Here are some different methods of communication and a question for you to discuss. First, you have some time to look at the task. Now, talk to each other about the advantages and disadvantages of these different methods of communication. Um, do you want to start or shall I? Okay, I'll start if you like. Okay. So, I think the most common way right now of communicating would be online chatting, as everyone has mobile phones nowadays, and we always have them on ourselves. So, it's really easy to just send a text message to someone and wait for them to answer it. Yes, I agree, but uh, one of the main disadvantages of it is that you don't really know to whom you're talking to exactly. So it's not that reliable. Yeah, I agree. So maybe a good alternative would be talking face to face. Yeah. Um, you can, it's like the most reliable way, but one disadvantage uh, it would have would be maybe you have to require the other person to be with you in the same exact uh, place. It cannot be in the other parts of the world, like only chatting can do that. Yeah. And, and also you, you can notice when someone's lying or when something's wrong between you two. Yeah, so then maybe an alternative to that would be talking on the phone. Yes, uh, but sometimes it's not quite good, it's not that effective because, for example, uh, my grandmother doesn't hear too well. So when, when we talk on the phone, she, it's really difficult for her to, to have a conversation with us. So maybe using body language is something everyone understands. So it may not be as easy as to communicate using body language if you lack the social skills, maybe. Um, I agree. I mean, using body language is really difficult to, to see when, when someone's uh, sad or, or when something's happening to them. Maybe reading letters and postcards is the different one from all of, uh, all of them as it can also express uh, emotions between countries and that excitement you have when you receive a postcard, which is not really normal nowadays. We all use email or chatting. It's really nice to have. Yeah, I mean, the bad thing is that uh, they sometimes can get lost. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Now you have about a minute to decide which two methods of communication are the most difficult to carry out effectively. So which ones do you think? Um, I would start off with using body language. As, we all, as we've already said, I mean, it's really difficult to, to notice. And well, what do you think? Yeah, also body language, as it expresses a lot uh, without us noticing, or maybe if we talk using body language only, like mimics do, uh, it's really difficult, but it can express more than we think it can express. Yeah. Then maybe talking face to face is a really effective way of communicating. Yeah, that's really effective. But one that wouldn't be that effective, for example, is written letters and postcards. Because, as you said, they can get lost and never get to where they had to Yeah, to get. and they are really slow. Yes. You have to wait for them to arrive. And maybe even the message is outdated because it's something that happened before and doesn't have a point now. I agree. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, please? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>